Hey everyone! In today's video, I decided to take you all with me to work. I'm a bank teller and an amputee. Today I was working by myself, so when I wasn't busy, I decided to record some tasks that I do at my job. Obviously, I couldn't record, you know, a lot of stuff because of the job that I have, but I think I got some really cool stuff that you guys will like to see. So let's get it started. I kind of wanted to show you this. If I want to use the copy machine, I just pick it up, put stuff in it. I press the home, copy. I can even use, see, I can use my, I can use this arm for my phone, my iPhone, so yeah. I can press like little things. I want to slide it over to two, and then I want to press that for a copy. That's how I do copies. So in this clip, I really just wanted to show you guys how I type on a computer and how I use the mouse. Um, I know this is like a top question when it comes to how amputees use a computer. Um, I've always been able to use a computer pretty easily. So, you know, I just hold the mouse, put my arm on it, and then click like that. And then whenever I want to type, I just put my, both my arms. I use my right arm for like the keys on this side and my left arm for these keys on this side. And then I just type like that. And come over here. I just press it. And then for the calculator, when I give money, I do 100 times 3 equals plus, and then 20s will give 10 20s, so times 10 equals plus, and then like that. My money counter, which this is a big thing as well. Like, if it wasn't for this, to be honest, I'd probably quit or something, I don't know, but I just get the money, I put it in this thing right here. And it tells me if it's a fraud or not. And then it also counts how much money is in there. I could put like a 20, a 5, a 10, and it'll add it up for me. Which I think is pretty cool. This is one of the things that helps me out a lot. So I wanted to show you guys how I count money from like a different view. So let's say somebody wants, comes in and asks me for, let's say $200. They want two fifties, three twenties, two tens, and four fives. First I would do it on the calculator, but I already showed you guys how I do that. Then I would run it through the money finder, the fraud finder. And then let's say you guys are like the customer or the member. And I'm right here, this is how I hand out money. I hold it like this and I slide it with the bottom arm. So I do 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200. And that's how I hand out one. So in this clip, I wanted to show you guys how I write. I just get it like this, I hold it in between my arms like this. My right arm is always in front like this down. I'm going to write my name now. I'll write the date. I'll bring it over. And this is my writing. I've always had pretty good writing ever since I was little.
in this clip I wanted to show you guys how I strap money so I already counted the strap right here I'll make sure it's as perfect as I could possibly get it I align the strap underneath it to where I want it. I get the tape like this and then I hold it down, I press it down, I get this side, bring it over like this and then I get this other side, make sure I get it really tight and then we always have to use this tape because the glue on them isn't like strong enough so I Put it like this, and get the tape, and I press it down, and that's how I strap money. Another thing I wanted to show is, so you know whenever we, we gotta give out coin to like the stores, and I mean, this one isn't that heavy, like you know I can pick it up pretty easily. The quarters is probably, maybe like 15 pounds, something like that. Maybe 20? This is another thing that I have to do. So this is a cutter. I can tell that this makes people nervous sometimes. But this is how we use it to open the boxes. So I put my arm like this. I make sure I have like a tight grip on it because obviously I don't want to cut myself. And it's never happened yet. I'm very careful with it. And then I just push it down to cut the tape perfectly and then I put it down and then I open it like that and usually we gotta give like businesses a lot of change so I usually what my trick is is I put it like this you know and then they kind of all come out easily for me or I'll just tip it over a little bit more like very carefully and that's how I get the change out but this is just to show you guys how I do it real fast I wanted to show you guys some things that help me with my job one of my favorite things is this. It's the fingertip grip. I know without this, I probably wouldn't be able to hand out money as easily as I do. Cause you know, it's, the grip helps me like slide it and go on to the next bill. So that is definitely a must have for me. If I didn't have that, I definitely could not do my job. So on days that I work for myself, you know, I have to carry my work keys and I have to carry my car keys so I just put it on my arm like this and then I hold my work keys and then so that way it's not so hard for me I want to get one for my work keys too but so far I've only gotten this one so before I end this video I just wanted to say that if you guys don't have a job or you can't work I don't want this video to like make you feel bad about yourself this video, what I want it to be about is just to inspire people and to show you what we are capable of. I like working and pushing myself. I was super grateful when I got the opportunity to work at this place that I do. I mean, I wasn't even sure that I was going to be able to work whenever I got older. So I was really happy that I was given this opportunity. I remember the first time that I had to work by myself I thought, these people are crazy, like they really trust me to work, like run that place by myself on certain days. It was kind of hard at first, but I eventually learned, you know, how to do it, how to do things on my own. And I mean, at this point, I only really have to work by myself a few times a month, so it's not really too bad. I work with one of my best friends at the office. It's just me and her. And I'm just really glad that she could depend on me whenever she has to take off of work. Also, the members... I wanted to talk about them because 
you know, they all treat me really good. They don't treat me any different from my coworker, and that makes me really happy. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope that it inspires you in some way. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!